Hey everyone, we're here in the Weather Nation workshop and we're gonna be discussing a little bit in the way of cold weather. We all know, breaking news, it is uncomfortable, especially if you're watching me from Alaska or Northern Minnesota in the dead of winter. And we all wanna sit by the fire and uh, drink a little hot cocoa during that. Yeah, for sure. But there's also a lot of cool, fun experiments that we can do with the cold weather. And one of the most common ones is where you take the hot boiling water outside, you throw it up into the air, mm -hmm. it cools, condenses, and forms a cloud. As the boiling water interacts with the frigid air, it goes through a rapid phase change, transforming that boiling water, the, wa the boiling water that you see, into what we see as a cloud, right? That's what happens. But this effect is thanks to the unique properties of water molecules and the existence of hydrogen bonds. Yeah, and that's not the only cool thing that water molecules can do. A lot of people, they think that water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, and, and that's the temperature that it just freezes at. Well, actually, what we're gonna show you a little bit today is how we can take water, super cool it, and actually get below the freezing point. Absolutely, and to, do, to show this, Brandon, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take uh, placing purified water into the freezer for a little more than two hours to let it reach that point. We're also gonna place a, a water bottle and it filled up with tap water to act essentially as a timer here, Brandon. Yeah, so why don't we go set this up then? Absolutely, let's go do it. We're gonna let these sit for the next two and a half hours. We'll see you then. All right, it's been two and a half hours. We should have super cold water now. We're gonna head back up to the workshop. All right, Chris, well, let's see how this works. What you're seeing here is called the nucleization process. Previously, the supercooled water remained in a liquid state due to the lack of outside molecules to grab onto and start the freezing process. But now the supercooled water is introduced to an imperfection, in this case, a chilled plate. As soon as one ice crystal forms on the imperfection, a snowball effect begins and the supercooled water turns to ice. All right, so there you have it. There is your super cooled water. There is your imperfect now bottle of water. I think that's a pretty cool experiment we did here, Brandon, in the workshop, the Weather Nation workshop. We're gonna to continue to do cool experiments like this and try and narrow down that science of weather for you. So for Brandon Thorne, I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi.